I'm Kim Fleming, and my word is give. The reason why I chose the word give is because when I started working for the extension in 2002, I replaced the legendary Joyce Tibbs, who was 4-H secretary for decades. And Joyce was just a phenomenal person who impacted 4-H and youth programs in Macon County. My youth educator that I worked under, Amy Bunselmeyer Lehman, also was her first year, also replaced a legend in 4-H in Macon County, Kathy Graham. Amy, of course, was expected to give above and beyond in her job, but I was her secretary. I could just work eight to five, but I quickly realized how much I loved this program and how amazing the people were and so I decided to give extra. I gave extra time, I gave extra effort, and I gave extra of myself to build relationships with our parents, our 4-Hers, and our volunteers. Now I have to say hands down in Macon County, 4-H volunteers are the best anywhere. And I'm gonna have to attribute that to uh, a former cooperative extension youth advisor by the name of Mary Jo Stewart, who, rumor has it, if you came in to talk to Mary Jo and ask her a question, you didn't leave until you agreed to volunteer for a program. So our volunteers in 4-H were very well trained. And when fair season would roll around, hectic, crazy, insane, last minute things, it was just nuts in the office. And you know what got us through? Our volunteers. Because they gave so much extra to the program. They showed up, they painted, they cleaned, they ran the food stand, they did anything. They would come in and say, Amy, what can I help you with today? And we'd give them things to do. That's how great they were. Now, I keep a picture on my desk of three young 4-Hers that I met when they were about 15 years old at the fair. And they are Eva Doss, Lane Burris, and Jessica Sugden. Now, these girls met through 4-H. They would never have met any other way except through 4-H. They were 4-H ambassadors. They were in 4-H Federation. They became solid friends. And that friendship lasted them till now. It's been over 10 years. They were successful leaders in 4-H. They were successful leaders in their high school. They went on. They were amazing in college. They've gone on in, and they now have successful careers. They still have that friendship. And if you were to ask them today what made them so successful, they would say 4-H. And so I look at this picture whenever I'm having one of those days and it helps me remember why I do my job because I love the program. I love kids like this. I love to be a part of their lives and I love to see the changes and the growth that they can have. So my extension, my word, give.